Can we make the Razer Core X less noisy? So what's up guys, Fabria and welcome to Shades of Tech. In the previous video we unboxed the Razer Core X and I've been using it with the handy Radeon RX 5700 XT GPU. In my opinion it's the best eGPU enclosure you can get for the money. It's Thunderbolt 3, great build quality, very heavy metal made and matte black finish. It's got 650 watt power supply that can fit up even the more demanding cards like the 5700 XT and the design is modern and to be honest it's the best looking eGPU you can find. All of these for around 300 dollars. But as soon as you turn it on you'll notice that it's not ideally silent. I don't have any other eGPU to compare right now, but I have my 12 core Mac Pro that is almost silent even under load, and this eGPU makes definitely more noise. It's not something you want to keep on your desk all the time, and for me it's quite annoying. So in this video we'll try to make it less noisy by upgrading the internal fan. We'll make an audio comparison before and after to see if we solve the problem. The rest of Core X has got two fans, 120mm intake fan that sucks air from the outside and the power supply 80mm fan that cools down the PS2 and blows air outside. Now they are both noisy but the bigger one is the more audible because it's on the right side. Also the PSU fan is inside the PSU and you will void your warranty to open it and also it's quite dangerous so for this video we will stick only with the intake fan. As I said it's a 120mm intake fan I will be upgrading with the Noctua NF81225 12V ultra silent which should drastically reduce the noise. The upgrade is very simple but we won't be changing the way it works meaning that as soon as you plug in the USB-C cable on your Mac, the fan still will start to work at full speed because the PS2 needs to cool down, but it will be much more silent than before. To remove the fan you will need a Philips X screwdriver, remove the four screws on the sides, Then remove the 3 pin connector from the motherboard of the eGPU. Then make the same step inserting the new fan, making sure it's placed in the current direction, sucking air from outside into the case and connect the 3 pin plug. Then screw back the 4 points. And now it's time to make some tests before and after, shall we? Same condition microphone at the same distance. We'll test idle condition with GPU and use. and full load 100% usage with Unigine Heaven test. Okay, so I think the improvement is very noticeable. The most evident improvement is at idle condition when they are not using the GPU. So for me, one decibel less is very important reduction from being continuously annoyed to don't even notice it's on. Before it was for me very annoying, I had to turn it on and off when I need it, but now it's much better. Of course, on the load, the GPU 3 fan noise will be much noisier, but a little noise reduction is evident as well. 
But tell me what you guys think in the comment section. This Noctua fan is a little bit on the expensive side. $30 but for me it's totally worth for the silent, it was too noisy for me. Those of you who care, you will spot the brown fan on the side because the other one was black. So for me it's not a problem because I will put it below the desk, but it's worth noting. So that's it, I really hope you find this video very helpful. If you did, be sure to like this video and thanks so much for watching me so far. Be sure to comment and subscribe. And as always, stay tuned on Shades of Tech. Ciao!